after all my years at the top, it was humbling to nearly lose my mask in the SmackDown. It made me more determined than ever to prove I'm still a primetime champion. But you know, darlings, I wasn't born a winner. I wasn't even always wanted. Huh? After being passed from pack to pack, I found I could use my talent as my escape. I have lived my life in color ever since. I've lived my life in color. I, I think it's Jamie Foxx. I always tell my cubs that no matter what the world labels you, it's never too late to flip the script. Flip the script. TV actor. As the leopard, I want to be a hero in their eyes. That would be my greatest title yet. Prime time. We're in prime time, so is he talking about this or his former career? That's tough. I thought that I'd been hurt before But nothing's ever left me quite this sore Your words cut deeper than a knife Now I need someone to bring me back to life I almost think Jamie Foxx is talking about a nice home down there. Yeah. Got a feeling that I'm going under But I know I'll make it out tonight If I quit calling you my lover Move on You watch me beat until I can breathe I'm shaking, falling on my knees Gotta get you out of my head Needle and a fit Gonna wind up dead Needle and a fit Gotta get you out of my head Get you out of my head You watch me breathe until I can breathe I'm shaking, falling on my knees I'm not at all without your kisses I've been needing stitches I'm tripping over myself Leaving us in stitches. Robin, that was outstanding. You just exude uh, glamour. Everything you do, it projects such sophistication. It's beautiful. Great job. Great job. Thank you, darling. I, I agree. You're the only contestant in the series to sing this and perform in character. You know, as an actor, like, you're, on, you're, you're by far, you know, you know okay, oh. now. This is really like a method actor performance. It is like the most ambitious approach by any contestant on the show, and I applaud you for it. It's great. Wonderful. Thank you, Daddy. You're giving me Billy Porter vibes because of your mannerism. And Billy's so elaborate and so fantastical and so theatrical. And this is definitely a, a fashionista type outfit. Yeah, right? You were definitely got some drag queen uh, style. So then I went like, oh, is it RuPaul? That's a good guess. RuPaul, I remember from the hit songs, it has a different sounding voice, but definitely there's some similarities going on. Right? Ken, what you picking up on? So primetime champ, someone who's maybe been on a primetime show, someone who's really just a cut above performer, Broadway star. I'm actually thinking like Neil Patrick Harris, maybe. It just, I'm just taking on stilts. No way! Said, Neil, oh, Neil is not that tall. There's no way that body type is Neil Patrick Harris. No. I'm sorry. He's or, covered in a dress! And his set tone is not I, Neil. Look at his biceps. They're bigger than Nick's body. <laughs> you got us all guessing. Give us a clue, Leopard. At one point, I was an engineer. But what some of you may not know is I once served Fast food. <laughs> Fat, what? Um, I don't know. I'm leopard serving Big Macs anywhere. I just kind of. Did Billy Porter serve fast food? 
My brain's all over the place. I'm like stumped. I think you got him stumped. But one thing we all know that this was an amazing performance, ladies and gentlemen. The Leopard. Our panel thought one of these celebrities might be under that leopard mask. Go 